Maing adlaw na tong tanan. If you are bed bound or you are not strong enough to get up from your bed yet or you are just simply having difficulty moving because of body aches, pain or tightness, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. The stretches and exercises I'm going to show you in this video will focus more on your upper body stretches which is from the waist up to improve your mobility, flexibility and to get you stronger enough so that you can get up from your bed and start doing some sitting exercises or standing exercises. These stretches are essential so that you will have lesser body aches lesser pain and improve your ability to move around during the day or simply to improve your mobility on your bed but before we get started there's still a lot of you who have not subscribed yet so if you find this video helpful please click on that subscribe button so that my videos will reach to those who badly need therapy at home especially those who are stuck at home who are bed bound those who are needing therapy but could not have therapy maybe because of insurance or some budget constraints so please share these videos and that will greatly help them and so let's get started follow along with me so we will be doing these stretches from the comfort of your bed so lie down get comfortable but please do not fall asleep follow along with me okay and by the way i'm going to do an attendance check somewhere in this video so watch out for that all right so lie down, flat on your bed, and the first stretch is just neck rotation. So you're just going to rotate your neck from the right, going to the left. Very easy, okay? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your neck rotation. The next stretch is just a bow and arrow. So try to be in the middle of your bed. Go to your right side. Bring your hands together. And we are going to pretend like we're pulling a bow. All right. So you're going to pull your top arm. So your left arm if you're lying on your right side. You're going to pull and then follow with your head. Hold that for a few seconds. Say about six counts all right then go back let's try to do about six of these okay hold pull and hold here and then go back all right pull 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 follow along look towards your back and bring your hands together let's do three more Hold it for a few seconds and go back slow. Two more. This will facilitate trunk rotation. So we are going to rotate our trunk doing this stretch. Okay. Hold for a few seconds and go back. One more time. Hold and go back. Let's do the other side. All right, so hands together, pull back, follow through, look at your hand, and bring them back together, your hands together. We're doing this six times. And back again. This is three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and six. And that is your bow and arrow. Now, I'm going to get up, but you can do the next exercise lying down. The next exercise is just going to be a shoulder roll. So we're just rolling our shoulders like this. So lying down, you can still do that like this. We're rolling our shoulders back. So I'm going to sit up so that you can see better. So you roll your shoulders like this. All right. So let's try to do 10 backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your shoulder roll. If you are having difficulty doing that, try doing this. Just bend your elbows and you're going to draw circles backwards like this. Let's do six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is your shoulder roll. The next stretch is arm across stretch. This should stretch this part of your shoulder, the back portion of your shoulder. So this will relieve some of your pain, the tender spots at the back of your shoulder. So cross your arm to the opposite side and then pull it with your other hand like this. Hold it for about 10 counts. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly release. Do the other side, cross, and pull with your opposite hand. Hold it for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. That will be your arm across. Next one, we are going to release our triceps, so the back of our arm. So this portion of your arm. So you're going to reach up straight up and bend then pull towards the back this should also improve your ability to reach up but primarily we're stretching this part of your arm so you're going to pull towards the back hold it for about 10 counts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten slowly release now, if that is too painful for you, just do this way and try to reach towards the back like that. Instead of having him straight like this, go towards the back. So hand towards the back like that. Okay, so let's do that just for educational purposes. So arm across, but bend this time. Try to reach towards the back. So hand towards the back and hold one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that is your triceps stretch now while we are at it i'm doing to i'm going to do the attendance check so type down below your goal so whatever your goal is type it down below so i will know what to do next on my next videos all right so Type down below your goals. Maybe you want to improve your balance. You want to improve your mobility, improve your flexibility, or if you have a stroke, improve your arm movement or your leg movement. Okay, so just type down below whatever your goal is. All right, so let's move on to the next exercise. The next stretch is chest expansion. So we want to open up our chest so that we don't have a bad posture like this. And this will improve our posture standing up, which also improves our balance, right? So what you want to do is to reach back as far as you can, and then lift your chest up towards the sky like that. All right. If you can clasp your hands together, that's great. But most of us are not very flexible. So just reach back as far as you can and then lift your chest up for 10 counts. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your chest expansion. The next one is the opposite side, which is our upper back. 
we have a lot of low back problems. But if we improve the flexibility of our upper back too, that will relieve a lot of tension from our lower back. So for this, we want to clasp our hands together. This one's easier because it's in front and then round your back. I'm gonna go to my side and then round your back like this. So you're going to push with your arm and pull back with your back like that, all right? Let's do 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your upper back stretch. Next exercise or stretch is just side bending. If you can sit up like this, your cross-legged squat, that's great. But if you can't do that yet, just sit at the edge of your bed. We're going to do a side bending stretch. So what you want to do is to sit up straight and try to reach to the opposite direction. All right. And then go back and reach. All right. Let's do 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now this video might be a little short, so do a second set, replay this video, and if that is too much, maybe do another set in the afternoon, if you're doing this in the mornings, okay? Do a second set in the afternoon or before going to sleep, okay? If you find this video helpful, please click on the subscribe button and share this to your family and friends, especially those who are bed bound, who have no access to therapy, this will greatly help them and be consistent about it, okay? Because consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam!